But something happened. The devil deceived the wife. The reason he deceived the wife is because God had given them a commandment that they could eat of every tree in the garden, but the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, God told a God told um, Adam, not Eve, before he created Eve. He told Adam, don't eat from it, and the day that you eat from it, you shall surely die. Watch this now. Y'all got to get this. Y'all got to get this now. Stay with me. Adam goes to his wife, his helpmate, and gives her the instructions that God had given him. And he was fine with it because she was married to Adam. Adam was married to God. Now, watch this. Now, God is a God of order. So he set an order. God said, the father, I am the head of my son. My son is the head of Adam. Adam is the head of his wife. Now, what's in the head? That don't mean walk ahead or walk in authority. It means the head, the head, the one that, that hears God, the one that speaks for God, the one that touched God, the one that smells God. He's the head. And he was supposed to relate to his wife everything that God said unto him. But as a help me, the woman was supposed to hear God, taste God, smell God, touch God, also herself. So if, and, and there was no error in either one of them because both of them was perfect. They were made in the image and the likeness of God. And God hadn't made anything in the world in the, his image and in, in his likeness other than man and woman. Woman. The, 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 the woman with the womb, the man with the womb, right? It was called womb man. Woman. The one with the womb. Now, somebody said that she wasn't called womb man. Say, so when Adam saw her, he said, Wow, man. <laughs> I don't know about that, but they said, wow. But I do know one thing. She was made out of a 10, 1 to 10. She was made a twin. And Eve, Eve had it all together. Eve was a perfect woman. Eve was perfect for the man. And, and just like Adam was perfect, and in the image of God, Eve was perfect too. She wasn't too skinny, and she wasn't too fat. She wasn't too tall, and she wasn't too short. She was just right. Perfect piece of leather, leather, all put together. And God did it for Adam. Joel, Joel said, um, I won't tell this joke. <laughs> but anyway, God made him in his image and in his life. And she was beautiful. And God, I'm telling you now, Joel, Adam loved Eve more than anything but God. He loved you more than anything but God. And so the devil saw that, and he knew that Eve wasn't around when God had given Adam the instructions. So he tells Eve, has God said that you can't eat from all the fruit in the garden or from all the trees of the garden? He was telling Eve, Adam got it wrong. God didn't tell God, Adam, that. Now, God did mess up. He added to what God said. He told Eve, thou shall not eat from it, neither should you touch it. Now, God didn't tell him that. That's why you don't add to the word of God. That's why you don't take away from the word of God. Whatever God say, say what does say the Lord, and you'll never be in error. So now watch this. Now, here's the amazing thing to me. <laughs> Why the devil talking to Eve, whom God, through a serpent, whom God has given Adam and Eve authority over everything that lived. They had authority. All they had to do was tell the serpent to get behind them. All they had to do was tell the serpent to be gone. But they entertained 
what that shepherd was saying. Because what the shepherd was doing, he was lying. But what he was lying about sounded good. He said, if you eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you'll be wise and you'll be like God. You'll be like your husband. He knew, he knew they were married. You'll be like your husband. You can fellowship more. You can understand it more. You can, he, they were already like God. They were already in his image and, and likeness. But what the devil was trying to do is turn them away from God. Here's just the thing that I don't want you to notice. Not the scripture don't say this, but I want you to notice this. Adam was right there with Eve while the devil was talking to her. Right by her side. He was right there. And just let the devil tell all those lies. I'm going to tell you somebody else who was there. God was there. What do you mean? What do you mean God was there? I, I know God came in the in the morning and, and fellowship with him sometime. No, no, no. God is omnipresent. <laughs> He's everywhere. So God was right there too, looking all the while. And, and what's this now? What happened was as God was looking, he wanted to see what Adam and Eve was going to do. But I don't know what reason Adam didn't take his authority. Now, both of them had authority, but he was her head. And he should have told Eve, God told us not to eat from it. Now, I, I, I added touch it. Now, I add that because she touched it and nothing happened. He should have confessed to Eve, I added, don't touch it. But God said, don't eat it. But he didn't. Scripture don't say he said a word. And she ate from it. Watch this. Then she gave to Adam. Now when she ate from it, I don't know what manipulation she used. You don't love me. Or what? I don't know what she said. I don't know. You know. If you love me, you eat from it. You know. But for whatever she did, Adam ate from it. The sin took place not after Eve ate, after Adam ate. Why? Because the commandment wasn't given to the man, to the woman, it was given to the man. And the man, being her head, was her high priest, and he could have restored Eve. He could have restored her. But when he failed, there was nobody to restore him because they disobeyed God. God put them out of the garden. What happened is good. After Adam and Eve ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, they divorced God. God didn't divorce them. They divorced God and they married Satan. They had two husbands. The one they divorced and the one they married. Satan. Now after they married Satan, watch this. This is why God said in the beginning, I am married to the backslide. Now, we put that all on Israel and say God was talking about Israel. But before God married Israel, before God married the Jews, he married Adam himself. And Adam divorced God by sin. And God said, I'm married. I'm still married to Adam now. But I'm married to the backsliders. Yes. The Jews backslid. Yes, Israel backslid. And God is married to Israel, the apple of his eye, the seed of Abraham. But this is before Abraham. He was married to Adam. Adam divorced him. Now watch this now. This, this, I'm going to bring this thing together. I, I hope y'all get this. I want to preach it, but I need to teach it. 
because you need to understand this one. What you need to understand is because God still loved Adam and Eve and because Adam had divorced God and married Satan, God took Moses and gave Moses the Ten Commandments. Now, the thing you have to understand about the commandment is the commandment is, in the Hebrew, the order of God. That's what it means, order. God is not the author of confusion, but of peace in all the churches of the saints. So God set in order how Adam and his seed could restore themselves, watch this, and divorce Satan and come back to him at his bride whom he never divorced. She could come back. They could come back if they wanted to. So what God did was set up a law, the Ten Commandments, which is the order of God, or watch this, a schoolmaster. It was a schoolmaster to teach us the way back to God. When Adam sinned against God and Eve sinned against God, they received a sin for nature. The one they were married to, they became like him. They were no longer like God. They became like the devil, like Satan. They, commit, they had two wives and committed adultery, committed fornication, and even start killing one another with a sin for nature. So that's why God gave the commandments, thou shall have no other God before me. Thou shall not kill, thou shall not steal, thou shall not covet. It was a teacher to teach men what the heart of God is, the way of God. Taught them the way of God. Taught them the way of God. But with a sin for nature now, and you and I have a sin for nature, Adam and Eve and his seed could not keep the law because they had a sin for nature. What happened was when they sinned and got married to Satan, God created a law which caused them to be married to the law. Now they're married to the law. And they're trying to be faithful to their husband, the law. But they kept breaking the law. They were unfaithful to the law. And that's why, praise the Lamb of God, God came up with the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. That defeated the law of sin and death. But now some things had to happen now. Something had, I hope y'all with me. I won't stop in a minute, but I hope you're getting this. Man, I got this from God, and I got it good. I hope you get this. I hope you get this. To understand the scripture, to understand the way of God, to understand why God did a thing. Why did he create the law? To teach men his heart, to teach men how to walk in his way, to teach men, hallelujah, how to live right. But man still could not live right because he had a sinful nature in him. Now watch this. God sent forth his son, born of a virgin, who came into the world to die for the sin of, the, of man. Now watch this. I'm sure you know what happened. What happened was Adam and Eve now was married to the law. And men tried to keep the law with all their heart, their heart. They worked hard to keep the law, but they kept failing, just like you and me. We fail because we still have a sin for nature. We fail. I'm going to fix it now, but watch this. You got a sin for nature, whether you realize it or not. You got a sin for nature. What happened was Adam and Eve and us, 
was married to the law. But God's son came on the scene. And he was wounded for our transgression, bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was on him, and by his stripes we were healed. Jesus satisfied the law. He didn't come to destroy the law. He came to fulfill the law. The word fulfill, watch this, in the Hebrew is to complete the law. And he became the law along with the Holy Spirit. So when Jesus died on the cross, his atoning blood gave us sinners with a sinful nature an invitation to come to Jesus. Let's walk through the word. Jesus said, come unto me. All ye who labor and are heavy laden. You know what Jesus was doing? He was giving a proposal to us. Send them in. He proposed to us. Gave us a marriage invitation. It's about marriage. Come on to me. Marry me. Be one with me. Unite with me. Fellowship with me. Be intimate with me. And I will give you rest. Watch this. How do I know he was talking about marriage? Because he said, yoke up with me. Yoke mean you're yoked with Jesus. Yoke mean you become one with Jesus. Yoke means you fellowship with Jesus. Yoke means you're one with Jesus. You're intimate with Jesus. Yoke means you and your husband and me will bring forth godless seeds. I hope y'all get this. I told you I've been seeking God. He said, yoke up together with me, and I will give you rest. You ain't going to have to work for nothing. Hallelujah. I'm going to give you Shabbat. Hallelujah. Which means rest in the Hebrew. And Shalom, which means I'm going to give you peace. Watch what Jesus was saying. I'm going to love you. Hallelujah, as my bride. I'm going to love you as my church. I'm going to love you. Watch. That's why he taught the man to love your wife as I love my wife, as I love my church, and gave myself for my church. Man, give up your life for your wife. Give it up. Give up drugs. Give up women. Give up alcohol. Give it up for your wife. Love your wife. Oh, y'all ain't getting this. Y'all ain't getting it. Then he turned around and said, be subject one to another husband and wife. Both of you here for me. But he said, wife, submit yourself unto your own husband as unto the Lord. Do it. That's what he was. Because God is the God of order. He was setting order back. Now if I'm going to marry the man. And love the man. Then I want man. To marry the woman. And love the woman. Like I love him. Oh Lord. He set order again. He set a new law. Not a new law, but a law. He restored a law. That, that, that the man would love his wife the way Adam loved Eve in the beginning. Hallelujah. That's what he wanted. Now watch this. I can't finish this. But watch this. What you have to understand, I got to get to this. When the man 
And when Christ died and gave an invitation to the man to divorce the law that could not save him and come to Jesus who could save him and be his wife. What you don't understand, <clears throat> and I'm going to preach this another time, but what you don't understand, once you got saved, once you were born again, you wasn't just invited to a wedding. You was a part of the wedding. You was the bride, the church of the living God. You are the bride right now. You are God's bride right now. You're his bride now. You're not waiting to be his bride. You are his bride. You're the bride of Christ right now. You're the church right now. You're already married to him. You've died to the law. Even though the sin for nature is in us, you got to reckon yourself to be dead indeed unto that sin for nature. Dead means you've been separated. You're connected with Jesus. You're his bride. You're his bride. You're his bride. You're his bride. Hallelujah. You're married again. Hallelujah. I'm going to continue that, but I'm going to stop right now. Come on, stand and give God a praise. I'm going to cut this out. Because I want this to go on Facebook, and I don't want it to be too long. Hallelujah. Facebook. Zoom, I'm serious as I can be right now. If you want to be a bride of Christ, if you want to be married to Jesus, if you want to divorce the law, the law of sin and death, and be married to the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. Repeat these words. Look up to heaven and say, Lord Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner. And I know that you died for my sin. Be merciful unto me, Lord. A sinner, forgive me of all of my sin. I come to you. I open my heart. I receive you as my Lord and my Savior. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. Give God a praise. Give God a praise. Give God a praise. Hallelujah. 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 Join us again next time as we go for another walk through the Word. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.